Hey, it's Lovin' Good Evening, everybody. The Phantoms finally get a game as for the first time since the middle of November and for the beginning of November since winning at home. The Lehigh Valley Phantoms are able to win a game 4-2 to over the Cleveland Monsters, who have been a very solid team of late, the Columbus Blue Jackets minor league affiliate. And also, uh, Tarasov, uh, their goaltender, has had very solid games in the NHL, and they're able to beat a very good goaltender in him as well. But they were able to play a tired Monsters team, as obviously the Phantoms are very well rested. Three in the last four days for the Monsters, six in the last nine, and also four games in six nights for Cleveland. So the Lehigh Valley Phantoms had the better skates, and they took advantage of that. Matt Strom looked very good out there. Isaac Ratcliffe had a very good game out there. But Wade Allison and Cam York, the redheaded wonders, they really just added the different energy. He just adds a different buzz to the lineup. Wade does, and so does York on the back end, and that showed. Now, coming into this game, the Phantoms were 30th on the power play, and the Monsters were 14th on the PK. Well, guess what? Our Lehigh Valley Phantoms were able to get two goals on the power play as Jerry Mayhew got the teddy bear goal on the power play, assisted by aforementioned Wade Allison and Cam York, who are definitely stars of this game, uh, grouped into one um, as stars of this game, so we can fit in everybody that deserves to be a star in this game, because we finally got a win, and it was a full team effort. Um, and then we saw, unfortunately... Uh, we ended up seeing Cole Clayton answer as Sandstrom at the time was screened. Sandstrom did get banged up in this game, played the first period, came out. Pat Nagel, who was another star of this game, made 21 of 22 saves, came in, made a penalty shot save right away as well, and then made some key saves after that and was huge and had his first AHL win with the Lehigh Valley Phantom. So it was great to see him come in and take advantage of his opportunity, but it wasn't great to have that opportunity with the way it happened. So love to see Nagel take advantage of the opportunity, but hope Sandstrom is all right. Uh, when it comes to uh, Allison, though, an interesting fact for people that don't know, we actually technically got him from the team and in trade because that's how we got the pick, and then we were able to pick up Wade Allison, but the Phantoms dominated in the first period. Shots were 12-1 to 1 with 823 to go into the first. The only bugaboo part of the game uh, for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms in this game was really the parts of the second period. For most of the game, uh, like they said at the end of the broadcast, probably 48 minutes, they outplayed the Cleveland Monsters. And then for the second period, uh, they weren't outplaying the Monsters, but then they were able to get the power play. Igor Zamula was able to shoot it on a nice screen, a great play by Matthew Strom, who also made a great play later that we'll get to soon, but a great play for Matthew Strom to be able to screen out the net front, and he and O'Reilly get the assist on that goal, and then later on, as I said, we're going to mention Matthew Strom again, made a perfect saucer pass uh, to Adam Glendening, who was then able to bury it, as I believe there was another assist on that goal as well. Yeah, Hayden Hodgson, who I'm going to be doing an article soon on, on Nitty Gritty, so stay tuned for that. It'll come out probably in the next five days or so on Hayden Hodgson. But, and I'm going to be doing one on Matthew Strom as well that will come out within the next week as well. But both of those guys had a hell of a game. Hodgson is another guy that sets the tempo uh, with hits, kind of like a minor league version of a Zach McEwen. And then Adam Glendening, though, was able to punch in that goal. And then only, uh, that was at the 2.30 in, and then at the 3.45 mark in, Susko, similarly to how JVR scored a goal, but he stole it in his own zone, went all the way down, looked off the guy looking like he was going to pass for a split second, fired the shot, and got a pass to Neil Tarasov uh, for the goal. So, this was a very good game from the Phantoms, a great game to build on. They played for, even maybe you could argue 50 minutes, uh, very well, but uh, had that little bugaboo part in the second period, but it did not cost them as they were able to get the win, capitalize on the power play. The power play was really the big key factor difference in this game because they weren't going before that power play in the second. They were looking like doo-doo for a minute there. And then Igor Zamula was able to pot a goal. Everything starts turning again. And then they just crushed them and just demolished them in the third period where this was by far the best closeout we've seen all season by the Lehigh Valley Phantom and really the best game overall that we've seen other than that 4-0 win against Hershey that was oh so long ago at this point. It feels even longer ago than it was. But this was a great game by the Lehigh Valley Phantom. A very solid start for Felix Sandstrom when he was in there. And a fantastic start as Nagel definitely gets one of the stars of the game. 
again, York and Zamula, well, York and Zamula do have to be thrown in there, but Allison also has to be thrown in there as well. And then Matthew Strum. There's a lot of stars in tonight's game because it was an overall team effort, a great game. Isaac Ratcliffe really was playing with a different degree in this game as well, and that was fantastic to see. So this was just a great overall win for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms as they're able to capture a 4-2 to two win over a very tough opponent in the Cleveland Monsters who... Um, the Lehigh Valley Phantoms now are able to pick up their fourth win as they drop the Monsters and keep them at 10 wins. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. I hope you enjoyed this reaction to the Cleveland Monsters versus Lehigh Valley Phantoms where we finally, just like the Flyers did last night against the Vegas Golden Knights, hopefully it looks like they're on route to do tonight too. They're able to get off the snide and win. Hopefully that's exactly how it will be for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms as they play the Hartford Wolfpack in a back-to-back -back tomorrow as long as that stays on schedule, which it looks like it's going to at this point. So hopefully that can continue for these Phantoms and they can put up back-to-back -back wins. So let's go Phantoms. Let's keep it going. Thank you to all those that have subscribed this far. Please continue to show the love and support down below on the subscribe button. Really love and appreciate you all for it. Go Phantoms. Stay safe out there, everybody, and enjoy the rest of the season.